Hi boys and girls, this is our lesson for Friday. We're going to talk about plagiarism. Um, when you guys were taking the writing test, I told you not to write exactly what the words that were there in the text or that you could write from because that's called plagiarism when you take it as your own, but somebody else wrote it. So we're going to talk about plagiarism and how to find it in the sentence and then how to correct it. Because when you write somebody else's word, words, you have to give them credit for it. Okay, so we're gonna look at IXL. Okay, plagiarism occurs when you use someone else's words or ideas and present them as your own. For example, look at the following from Golfing Like a Pro by Woodrow T. Driver. Learning how to putt is the single most important skill golfers should practice to improve their game. A student used the information above to write the following report. Golf is an amazing game. To get better, you have to practice different skills. The single most important skill golfers should practice to improve their game is putting on the green. So they changed it around a little bit, but they still... Um, used his exact words without saying they belong to him. So um, the underlined sentence in the report is plagiarized. William Seward as Secretary of State for Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Johnson. He helped the United States buy the land we now call Alaska. The purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals in American history. The United States only paid about two cents for each acre of land. So he took those words from something else. It uses cold D Snow's exact words without saying that they belong to him. In 1867, the United States bought the land from Russia. The purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals in American history. So now we're going to go find the plagiarism, but then we're going to look at how to fix it. Okay? So... The city of, uh, let's see, read the following text from Neapolitan Nights by Caldera Fumarol. The city of Naples is located below Mount Vesuvius, which is an active volcano known for its fiery eruptions. People who live near an active volcano should be more aware of the dangers around them. Mount Vesuvius has erupted many times, causing widespread damage. When it erupts again, the city of Naples could be in danger. So the student uses information from the above text to write a report about volcanoes. Select the sentence in the student's report that plagiarizes. So look for a sentence that is very similar to one of those. Volcanoes can be helpful because their lava helps create new land, like the Hawaiian Islands. However, volcanoes can be harmful as well. People who live near an active volcano should be more aware of the dangers around them. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. People who live near an active volcano should be more aware of the dangers around them. They copy the exact words, but they're not giving that person credit. So that's how I find it. I look for one of these sentences here. Okay. Now, we're still working on that. How can I fix that? Volcanoes can be helpful because their lava helps create new land like the Hawaiian Islands. However, volcanoes can be harmful as well. Many people agree people who live near active volcanoes should be more aware of the dangers around them. That does not give this person credit. Okay, Author Caldera Fumarol warns people who live near an active volcano should be more aware of the dangers around them. Now... This person is giving her credit for it. So that would be the correct way. Okay. We're putting in that the author warns. Okay. So now again, let's look for one of these sentences down below. Sophie, Sophia Kovaleska was a leader in math and science at the time when few women worked in those fields. Kovalevskia was famous for solving math problems that had never before been solved. She was gifted in her creativity and problem solving. A student used the information above to write this report. 
For a long time, women were not allowed to study or teach math at universities. In 1889, Sofia Kovaleska became the first female math professor. She was gifted in her creativity and problem solving. Ah, she was gifted in her creativity and problem solving skills. So that's the sentence they plagiarized. Now, how can we fix that? Um, for a long time, women were not allowed to study or teach math in universities. Uh, she became the first female math teacher. It seems that she was gifted in cre her creativity and problem-solving skills. That one doesn't give the person credit who wrote it. She was gifted in her creativity and problem-solving skills, claims historian Bell Curve. Um, she was gifted in her creativity. This just says creativity was from that. This tells us this whole sentence was from Bell Curve. Okay, again, we're looking for one of these sentences down below. Um, William Seward was Secretary of State for Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Johnson. He helped the United States buy the land we now call Alaska. Purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals. Remember, that's the one that they found. Purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals. Now, how can we rewrite that and give um, Cole D. Snow credit? Um, author Cole D. Snow believes the purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals in American history. Uh, the purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals. According to this, it's only smartest deals that he said. Author Cole D. Snow claims the purchase turned out to be one of the smartest deals in American history. I would go with this because they are putting in parentheses the actual words he's saying. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that. Find the one sentence on the first page and then find the way, correct way to fix it. Go to IXL, IXL letter U. Identify and correct plagiarism. Okay, have an awesome day.